What's up, Tuesday night? Welcome, everybody. Make those waiver claims. Put in those claims for Rex Burkhead. It looks like, well, we're for sure not going to have any, any Damian Pierce this week, and it might be up to three weeks for Damian Pierce before he returns to the field. What a bummer. I'm Adam Azer with Dan Schneier. No Schaefer tonight. So I don't think we have a U- – do we have a YouTube poll? Maybe he put one up earlier, but I don't think so. Um, but, uh, Dan, what would you like to ask the fantasy people tonight? Yeah. Oh, what poll did I ask? Okay, I'll ask the fantasy oh, people. Oh, there is a poll. There is a poll. Wow. Okay, okay I don't care about what you were going to say. Um, <laughs> nah. Most overrated movie franchise, Star Wars, Marvel, Fast and Furious, or Harry Potter? Harry Potter, hands down. I am not all that familiar with Harry Potter. I haven't seen a single Fast and Furious. I'm going to vote Marvel here. I'm not oh. a big Marvel guy. Come on, the recent mar the whole recent like s- slew of fifteen Marvel movies ending with Infinity War and Endgame were epic. They talked, they yeah. tapped into time travel, they tapped into like interesting concepts. It was dark, it was humorous. Like that's the good stuff versus like Harry Potter and his stupid magic that I don't care about. Or <laughs> like Fast and the Furious, I don't think is that good, but I like to watch them to laugh at it. Like the Fast and Furious Seven or whatever the movie one where there was like they were on the they were on the road dragging a vault across the the highway one of the most hilariously stupid scenes ever like there's just so much dumb humor in that movie that i like uh, well, yeah well yeah i think it's you know no it's fine i've never seen it i can't comment but i just feel like there are a lot of really great movies that you haven't seen like die hard true and you have seen all of the, the clock is there. ticking on die hard i only have like 72 hours to watch that before i'm like banned from fft for it's life so i better get my my act together <laughs> well, at least you didn't curse all right no. well welcome to the show that for you We will help you with your lineups. Don't hate me for the Marvel thing. Every freaking movie is the same. Well, we don't have to hate you for the Marvel thing, but we could hate you for just like your wild jinxing power. I don't know those who (laughs) are watching if they know what happened last night. But Adam, for the second time this season, pulled off just a wildly, weirdly, coincidentally timed jinx where he's like, all right, everyone, who's going to win? Me or quote unquote jerk face Dan Schneier. (laughs) Dan Schneier has Kyler Murray and Ramondre Stevenson. Going up against who did you have? Hopkins. Oh, Dondre Hopkins for a playoff spot. Hey, Boom. Murray torn ACL. Boom. Ramondre Stevenson out for the game. I was hurt by it too. Okay. Hopkins could have had a much better game if Murray had played. Oh, boo hoo. <laughs> Poor Adam. You know, use your good. You, as somebody said in the comments on Twitter today, use your jinxing powers for good. Try to use your jinxing power. Figure out a way and use your jinxing powers for good. Love the commanders this week. They're an absolute <laughs> There you go. Now you're starting to get it. All right, everybody. So welcome in. Ask us your questions. Here we go. Would you drop George Pickens for DJ Chark? You got Metcalf, yes. Pittman, Lazard, and Zay Jones. 100%. Yeah. But look at the rankings. We don't really love uh, – sorry, Chark. my hair is crazy. We don't love Chark this week. You might want to save him for now. But, but yes, you can drop Pickens for him. Take a shot on, on DJ Chark. Uh, oh, well, this is terrible. <laughs> it looks just wow. about as it always looks to me. Yeah, it looks worse today. Um Okay, uh, let's see what else we got here. We got mostly movie talk. Would you start both Zeke and Pollard this week? Yeah, I'm uh, fine. I, I think, yeah, a case can be made that you can do that. I'd start them both over Saquon Barkley. I would too, yeah, unfortunately. And I think we're going to see a lot of what we saw last week, like start to give a couple series here and there to Brightwell and Brita. Okay, let's get the matchups out. So I don't have them all memorized just yet. Me either. We've got uh, Deontay Johnson at Carolina. We got Adam Thielen against the Colts. We've got Traylon Burks at the Chargers and Jerry McKinnon against the Texans. We need a PPR flex. Give me Deontay Johnson with Trubisky. Oh, I'd I'd take Burks. Really, if you're he taking plays, yeah. If, if he plays, obviously, he plays. yeah. Yeah, I kind of like Deontay Johnson's trends with Trubisky. Okay, yeah, it's interesting because most of his good per- Trubisky stuff was the first three games of the season was basically right, all, and that wasn't really that much Pickens at that point. True, Pickens wasn't playing as much. That's fair. Etn or or Bam Night, Bam Night, Bam Night against the Lions. Seven straight opponents. None of them have scored double-digit PPR fantasy points. Mm-hmm. Seven in a row. What about ETN and his horrific trends? Also bad. <laughs> no involvement in the past game. 
hasn't been creating explosive runs like he did before the injury. I'm going to take the healthy player who's running well and looking better on tape. Okay. Um, would you play Kittle on Thursday or wait for Gabe Davis, DPJ, hmm. Burks, or London, or pick up Elijah Moore or Chuba Hubbard? Wow. Oh, boy. <sighs> I th- think I'm leaning Gabe Davis. Yeah, I. there's a lot to like about George Kittle. No Debo Samuel, that's a good right. thing. Second best matchup in fantasy. Um, you saw he was, it's been horrible recently, but he was great against Arizona, I think three games ago. Right. Against Seattle. They're the only, Arizona's the only team that gives up more points to, to uh, tight ends. But there's also a lot not to like about Debo. I think he's played, or, sorry about Kittle. Kittle. I think he's played 11 games and four of them have been good. Yep. He's had seven bad games. So I don't think I want to start him. I only want to start him ahead of other tight ends. True. I think I'd rather gamble on one of these receivers, which would probably be Traylon Burks for me. But if not, it'd be Gabe Davis. They're the same type of receiver, though. You're the same type of play, at least. And I think the same can be said for London. There is upside to him with Desmond Ritter coming in there, but not guaranteed by any means. So I think I would lean Gabe with the best shot to do it. Shannon wants to know if we drop Jeff Wilson, Swift, or James Cook for McKinnon, Burkhead, or Algier. No. I'd probably rather no. If you need to start Burkhead, maybe over Cook, that's fine. But I, I think it's a pretty low upside play. I still think Cook could be more of a better chance of a league winner down the stretch. I think Burkhead could catch a decent amount of balls. True, the only thing. But if you don't have to start these guys, then no, you definitely shouldn't do it. Marvel movies is too brand. I don't really know. What the, oh, too broad. Broad. So. Uh, oh, as as like a trivia, as like a poll question. Yeah. I just, they're all exactly the same. Dude. No, that's not true. So normal, I used to they think they are that. normal person, uh, no, backstory, no, 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 superhero, no, no. meet your villain. No. Superhero is amazing. Oh, here comes the villain. <laughs> villain should not possibly be beat. Superhero finds a way to be. It's every single one. I actually no, really see, like that. Movies, that's such so a bad, that's yeah. such a poor take. Like, I'm not even a diehard Marvel fan, but diehard Marvel fans are about to roast you in the chat. You're going to be torched for this. Right. You're very lucky this is not recorded as a podcast and only a live stream. This will be torch because here's the thing with that take. That's why I didn't watch them for the longest time. I didn't watch Marvel. I caught up when they were already like 11 movies deep into this recent run. And then I realized there's a lot more to it. Like I said, there's some time travel elements. There's some really interesting there's time. That doesn't time travel element doesn't mean that what I said is false, but it's not just a one villain that they're all trying to get. There's like other things in play. Okay, yeah, it's not like that simple, but it's basically every. If you've seen one Marvel movie, you've basically seen them all. I don't know if that's true. Um, okay, I do like the Thor movies though; those are my favorite ones. Uh, so, Thor Ragnarok is my favorite too. That's my least favorite Thor movie. I got crushed for that. What? <laughs> you said Ragnarok is your well, least actually, favorite. I haven't seen the new one, but of the first three, it was new one's great. not that great. But the obviously Ragnarok is the best Thor. That's no, such I, a bad take. <laughs> it's too goofy. It's too oh. goofy. Um, I have St. Brown, Judy, Palmer, and Cooks, Sutton, and Paris Campbell on waivers. Are they worth picking up? Yeah, so drop Cooks. Yeah. Cooks I don't think you need to pick up Sutton, personally. Me either. I think Campbell's pretty interesting this week against the Vikings. They've allowed double-digit double digit PPR fantasy points to eight wide receivers in their last four games. Better matchup for the outside receivers, though, but good matchup. I mean, look, honest to God, you don't have great receivers. So sorry to be that guy. But I would drop Cooks for Campbell. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm bored with that. I don't think Cooks should, should be rostered at this point. Okay. What a bust he's been. There's been so many busts this year. Cooks, DJ Moore, Mark Andrews. My God, am I getting killed with Mark Andrews this yeah. week? Yeah, I know. I mean, you did lose to Mark Andrews and Oil of Olave last week, but he's been tough for me, yeah. Uh, I mean, if Mark Andrews wakes up, I, I'm not going to win that. I'm going to win that league. Uh, You're so I, confident about your oil of lave team. Name that team right now. Let me think if it's. Yeah. Let me evaluate if it deserves the confidence you're giving it. Let's see. Yeah, hear it. it's PPR Superflex. Okay. Trevor Lawrence and uh, you know Brock Purdy. That is not a great start. Let's no, move on. It's not. I have the third most points in the league. Uh, Derek Henry, and this week I'll be starting J.K. Dobbins. Solid. Hopkins, Godwin. Christian Kirk, Chris Olave. Team is not that good. 
Chris Olave, third most points is obviously we're doing something right here. <laughs> and Mark, and Mark Andrews. I mean, that's the thing. Like third most not- points, but here are people who scored early in the year that haven't been scoring lately. Godwin, Andrews, Olave. Not Godwin, but yes, Andrews. Godwin has been cold. As as said, if Andrews wakes up, I'm winning that league. I'd start DK Metcalf over Brandon Ayuk personally. Okay. Um, would you drop Debo Samuel? Hmm. So three weeks, that'll take us to yeah. You got to drop yeah, him. He's not going to come back. You can drop him. You can drop Cooper Cup. He's almost certainly not coming back. Oh week. yeah, Sean McVay said today he can't really envision any scenario where Cooper Cup plays, so you can drop him. Would you start Dak Prescott at the Jaguars or Justin Fields? Oh, who are they playing? The Eagles. <sighs> I think we're going Dak. Yeah, I think so. Matchup's too much better than the other one. Would you? Ooh, wow. Would you drop Pollard or Zeke for Aaron Jones? My I don't God. know what league Aaron Jones is a free agent in, <laughs> besides guillotine leagues, which is possible. <laughs> um, with that said, hmm. yeah, I guess so. I'd yeah. probably drop Zeke. Okay. Um, that's Zeke tough. for Aaron Jones and Keith Pollard. Yeah, I think I can do that. Lawrence or two this week? Lawrence over Tua. For sure. I can't, you, you can't be playing to it right now. You're concerned. Very, I was very concerned. at the rankings. Cause I'm doing that game right now. I'm, I'm breaking down that game. Right. And he is 12th for Jamie ninth for Dave seventh for Heath. I'll, I'll tell you this about wow. Heath. Heath's probably going to move him down because, uh, Heath just publishes his projections basically right. first and then he adjusts. So I think he'll be moving him down. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't know, dude. They've had the ball for 20 minutes each of their last two games. They got to keep the ball. Yeah, and it just looks like there's they're starting to figure out what he wants to do. What what does Tua want to do? He wants to throw into the middle of the field in that 15 yeah. to 20 yard range, and defenses are now crowding the middle of the field, daring him to throw outside the numbers, and he has not been consistently even attempting throws outside the numbers. So, not a good sign. Aaron Rodgers or Brock Purdy? I think Purdy. I'll go Rodgers off the bye here. Okay. Green Bay has the Rams on Monday night. Ugh, I, a I gross think. Monday night game, that is. Ugh, I know. Goff or Rodgers? Goff. Yeah, Goff. Pat Fryermuth or Greg Dulcich? Dulcich well, with the best matchup. Fryermuth is also playing through an injury. He only played 57% of the snaps last week, and then they talked about it after the game that he's playing through an injury. That scares me. To be honest, I also don't. I think Pitt, it's worse for him to have Mitch in there than than Pickett. So I'll go Dolchich. Okay, I mean, I would be, I would scoff at that, but Dolchich is scoff, playing the scoff card. at which part? Just starting Dolchich over Fryermuth, but right. you make very good points, and you. Uh, and you didn't even mention the matchup. So. Yeah, Daniel so Jones' is- performance against the Eagles has given me even more confidence in Justin <laughs> Fields. <laughs> Uh, uh, wait, what does that mean? Said, well, Jones scored the most points of any quarterback against the Eagles this year. Ugh, that's what I mean. There was some garbage point. I, I, yeah, I guess. Well, he had some rushing. He had some rushing. I, I look, I see where you're going with that. I, it's not like Daniel Jones he had a rushing TD, Daniel Jones. Yeah. It's not like he played well against the Eagles. And, and it was, scored. his score was inflated by the rushing TD. Well, Which yeah, fields can do too. Fields. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right, yeah. I mean, I don't dislike Fields. You gave me another option that was great, Dak against Jacksonville. It's a really good matchup. So it's just like I'm playing the matchup. But I don't ever hate playing Justin Fields in any matchup because I think he has more upside than almost anyone in fantasy football on a week-to-week basis. Uh, Amari Cooper. Oh, David A. Our good friend David A. (laughs) Normally his first comment is is something trashing me. Um, I probably just missed it. And I believe this. I'm going to let you know this, Adam. David A. actually coined a term that I'm now being referred to by other people on Twitter who follow our show. Oh, no. The food snob. I am now known as the T-H-E food snob, and I believe that's David A.'s work. Wait a second. Uh, I've been calling you a food snob. Oh, maybe maybe he called you a food snob. He did start by calling me the food snob. Well, he's a hundred percent right. Like that's the thing. 100%. I am a food snob, and I stand by it. And I know. And look, it's not just that I know what's good. You know what's good too. You guys just can't admit when things are bad. That's the biggest difference here. Like, I'm not going to go into some names of of brands of things that I dislike right now on a show, <laughs> just in case we one day get them as sponsors. But there are some good things, and there are some bad things about food in this world. If more of you are willing to admit it, 
then we could move past it. And I wouldn't be considered a snob. But people don't even, you know, if people haven't lived where you have been so blessed to live up in the Northeast, <laughs> they don't even, I mean, I think you would agree, they don't even know what good food is. That's like part of my point. There's yeah, an ignorance right. to this it's as well. Ignorance. ignorance is bliss, I guess. Yes. So Dan's calling everyone ignorant. No, I'm ignorant as well. Look, anyone who believes that the North, I don't personally, personally believe I'm blessed to live in the Northeast, by the way. I wish I was born in Colorado. Anywhere in the West is beautiful. Florida's oh, yeah. nice. Uh, warm. The Pacific Northwest in San Francisco. Yeah, the Pacific Northwest, <laughs> most specifically San Francisco. But yeah, I um, as far as this question Cooper. goes, I will go with Zay Jones if Cooper doesn't play, but Cooper otherwise. Yeah. Zay had a lot of targets last week and he was involved. Yeah, three of the last four weeks. Who is the lowest wide receiver you'd start Jalen Waddle over? Uh, I... Well, how about Zay Jones? Good question. I, would, I would not. I would start Waddle. I would start Waddle too there. Um, maybe Christian Kirk. I, I might start over. Maybe like Darius Slayton. No way. I would start McLaurin over Waddle. Definitely McLaurin. I would probably start. I would not start Zay Jones or Amari Cooper. Oh, by the way, start... Adam, let me ask you a question. Do yeah. you understand the reference in this man's or woman's avatar and his and his or her name? Mm. Elliot Alderson. No. Wow. So you've never seen Mr. Robot. It's a really, really good show. I was oh, no, some, I haven't seen that. No, I would suggest at some point you watch it. It's a very, very good show. Yeah, that's like that's that's not even in the top 10 right now. Things to what's watch. in your top 10 of things you got to watch? Uh, House of the Dra- House of the Dragon or whatever <laughs> it's called. I have oh, yeah. I, I've read, watched like four. Didn't episodes. You like start that and you're yeah. like you were used to tell me like, oh, I can't wait to watch House of the Dragon tonight. And then you just stopped. Yeah, wasn't you know, wasn't not planned. Um Oh gosh, what I want to finish Eastbound and Down. I have about four episodes. Oh, that's a great show. Um, very close. Okay. Uh, gosh, I would. I honestly want to watch The Wire. I want to watch. Wow! The Wire. If you actually ever actually do watch The Wire, we have a lot to talk about. Yeah, I'm so yeah, excited I would love for to that. Watch the Wire. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna like, as soon as the season's over, man. I'm just gonna coast. I'm just right, gonna forget you every now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I can't think off the top of my head. Okay. Um, that's fair. Oh yeah, yeah, bro. You got to finish Ozark for sure. That that movie, that show is amazing. Did not uh, like the finish to Ozark at all. Yeah, you're you know movie. You're a show. The snob. last season was not good. Show snob. Just um, good. straight up not good. What what was that car crash all about? No one knows. It means nothing in the end. It's symbolism. A symbolism of what? That they can life. get away with anything. Life, which is also <laughs> stupid. And then at the end, that scene. Right, but, man, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm doing what I'm doing. You it's just been- heard the guy's comment. You saw the guy's comment. He hasn't finished it. And you're in the end. In the end. This, I, I didn't say anything after in the two end. Running, well, cause I, I cut you off. Thank you're you awful. for cutting me off. Two running backs and two wide receivers. Camara, Montgomery, Rashad White, Higgins. I don't think Higgins is going to play personally, but. Yeah, uh, he's not going to play. If he did play, I, I'd be kind of nervous. I'm not benching play. Watson from this point on. So I'm starting with him. There's no scenario where he's on my bench. Wow. Okay. Why would there be? He doesn't get that many targets. Doesn't he matter. Targets. He does so much with every target. Dependent. Yeah, but it's hard. It's hard to rely on that. Whereas Godwin, you get six catches. It happens every week, game. though. It's happened three times. He's also had a, some decent target games too. It's not like he's getting no. It's not like a Gabe Davis situation. But but if you're in a PPR league, Godwin gives you a floor of of twelve points basically. Well, he didn't get there last. Not week. last week. He gave you, I think, ten and a half points last week. I mean, I'd start them both. I'd start Godwin and Watson as my two receivers, and then I would start Kamara and White. Or no, Montgomery, because it's not going to be – Herbert's not back yet, right? No. It's next week. Yeah, okay. No, but he does have the Eagles, which which bugs me. It's not a good matchup. Um, I would probably go with Kamara and Montgomery. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on Darren Waller? I mm. do think he's got a pretty good chance to play this week. Um, they have New England, who's not great against tight ends, but right. – it's a real mystery. I, I really, I, I'm, I'm pretty much going to approach him as a must-start tight end. I, I don't think Me. I'm going to start Evan Ingram over him. Me either. Um, I, yeah, I think I'd probably start Kittle over him. So I would say I'd start in no particular order: Kelsey, Andrews, Hawkinson, Schultz, Goddard if he plays, Kittle, and then maybe Fryermuth. Maybe Dulcich over Waller, but he'll be somewhere around eighth. I think that's fair. 
What are your thoughts on Hollywood Brown without Kyler Murray? I don't like him. I don't like him at all. Why? What's the difference? I mean, what if he catches that? Playability. If he didn't drop that ball yesterday. Ball placement. Yeah. You know, the previous two starts this year by Colt McCoy, two Arizona receivers went over 90 yards in both games. What were the matchups in both those games? I don't know. The hell are you asking me for? I should know that. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you shouldn't know that. So I think the Rams were one. Uh, Rams and and Niners. Okay, that gives some hope, I guess. Yeah, I'm not and a huge fan done. though. I just wouldn't want to pin my fantasy hopes to a player with Colt McCoy throwing him the football. Yeah, I think the touchdowns are going to be what really the, the yeah. big difference is. Because if you look at Colt McCoy, what he's averaged passing wise as a starter the last couple of years in terms of yards, I think it's pretty similar to Kyler Murray. Um, but the touchdowns are not going to be as good. The passing touchdowns, the whole offense. Uh, Godwin and Kirk are my only receivers. Who is the best widely available wide receiver going forward? Is it Drake London? Yes, definitely Drake London. Um, why not? I'm not so sure. Because I don't love him this week against the Saints. They've been outstanding against. I don't love that matchup either. Receivers, and I'm assuming Lattimore is going to play, but I don't okay. know. That sure. But even I love their young corners, uh, Alante Taylor, and uh, what's the yeah, other? Taylor's guy? great. Oh, the other guy on the other side, he's playing really well too. I don't know they got good corners. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't really trust Desmond Ritter, but widely available, he's not widely available. Zay Jones, by the way. Zay Jones over Drake London. Yeah. That's fair. And I would pick up Traylon Burks over. Oh, if Burks is available for sure. Um, <laughs> ew, this sounds disgusting. What's that? G- gingerbread Oreo cookie. Hmm. Gingerbread Oreo cookie. Probably not great. I kind of think I would agree with you. Yeah. Uh, I don't really love gingerbread in general. I, I got to be honest with you. I haven't really enjoyed any of like the Oreo when they change the flavor. They do it all the time. They have like a birthday cake. They have like the strawberry. Like they have like different flavored Oreos. Got the mint. The the mint is great just because I love all mint chocolate combinations. So it's gonna be great. But all the other ones to me just taste so chemically. Yeah, chemically. Chemically. Yeah. Is that the word? Chemically. It's not a word. Do you think either is a word? Chemically. Um, chemically. Chem- chemi- chemi- chemically. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what else we got here? I need a waiver wire, wire guy to play this week. Damian Harris, Pierre String, or Elijah <laughs> I'll go Pierre Strong. It's such a toss-up. I mean, the good thing is at this point, you know, if you pick up Pierre Strong, there's a decent chance nobody's picking up Rex Burkhead or Elijah Moore. True. Whereas if you're not, you got a full league playing, that's not going to be the case. Uh, but I think Pierre Strong probably has a better – obviously he's going to play. I think uh, to Harris, I would at this point wouldn't expect him. Okay, Hollywood Brown, Christian Kirk, AJ Dillon, out of a People's Jones. I don't know, man. I'm not looking ahead to next week, but Brown and Kirk are the ones that stand out. Yeah, I'd have to see the matchups. Oh, excuse me. Who's a good quarterback to target for Week 16? All right, Tannehill. White has a good matchup. He has the Jaguars. I know that. Yep, I've been waiting for that one. Um, Tennessee has Houston. That's not a great matchup. Nope. And who's the other one in there? Purdy. They have the Commanders. I'll go White. Mike White. Yeah, I, I also lost Kyler Murray, and I put in a claim for Mike White. Sucks. It does. Never watched a Harry Potter movie. Figured they were kids' movies any good. Yeah, they are good. Mm. Eh. They're good. Meh. Yeah, I mean, you've probably never even seen them. I've seen like three of them. Why? I've only seen like one and a half. <laughs> Waddle or Medcalf? <laughs> Medcalf. Um, uh, I'm going to scroll down, get the new ones in here. By the way, we got 284 people. Thank you for joining us. Always Hit fun to like. Here. Hit that like button. We're up to Smash. 50. Like. Fast and Furious is running away with this most overrated movie franchise. Oh, okay. Not a surprise. When you make that many movies, you know, it's like yeah. horrible. They all get worse. I think you either get it or you don't with Fast and Furious. Like some people love it. Some people just don't. Chemically. Chemically. Yeah, that's what I originally said. Play Bam Knight or a Patriots running back? Eh, Bam. 
Well, I'll say this. If it's if it's Harris or Stevenson, absolutely a Patriots running back against the Raiders. Okay. If it's strong, then I'll probably go Bam. Pick one in PPR. Watson, Walker, Mostert, ETN, White. Watson. Ooh, man, Rashad White's pretty interesting, I'll tell you. A lot of catches. A lot yep. of catches. I'd probably go Watson. I, I don't, If Ken Walker plays, I hope he plays, and I hope I'm facing him. Because yeah. I have zero. It's so risky to start him. Yeah. Such a good chance of re-injury. Well, not only that, he's playing the best run defense in yes. football. But also, the, it's just, it's very risky. Rashad White or Bam Knight in, in half PPR? White. For I'm not doing rest of the season. We, you would advance to the next round, and we'll talk. We'll talk next <laughs> round. That's it. Hey, all right. The Dougie. Nice, Dougie. That's excellent. Good job. Do it a Dougie. Trevor Lawrence or Mike White? Lawrence. Lawrence. Mike White or Ryan Tannehill? Singletary White. or Mostert? White and Singletary. Actually, Mostert oh. if Wilson is out. Yeah, Mostert if Wilson's out. Yeah. I don't know if he, I think he's going to play through it, though. Um,. Oh my gosh! Why would you stream Andy Dalton? No, do not stream Andy Dalton. You're tired too. Oh man, I'm exhausted. I think I think it's the yawn is contagious type of thing. <laughs> uh yeah, really? Oh come on! Go. See, I got you. Uh, I Cousins. would go with Cousins here. Yeah. Uh, I would I would rather have Harris. I mean, like I I, I yep. think Strong has a more likely. I, like I said, I don't know that Harris is going to play this week, but he might and. He's a much better fantasy asset than Strong. Correct. He, he's you know because Strong will split I think with Kevin Harris. Uh, who are we starting in this group? Hollywood Brown, Christian Kirk, Ayuk, or Gabe Davis. I will go with Kirk or Davis. Yeah. No, for me it's Kirk or Ayuk. Oh yeah, because no Debo, but I... I'm going to go with Kirk reluctantly. I do. Yeah. I think yeah, there's Kirk. a pretty. I think there's a pretty strong chance he gets shadowed by Trayvon Diggs. Oh, that's not good then. Uh, yeah. But I but it's not hundred because he's in the slot enough. So I'll I'll start Kirk. All right. Oh boy. Jerry <laughs> Judy or Mark Andrews? Oh man. Oh Judy for sure if Sutton doesn't. <sighs> yeah, I guess Judy. I can't believe we got to that point. Super disappointing. Ken Walker or Traylon Burks? Yeah, Burks. I, think I would go Burks. Yeah, and the problem is you may not know if Burks is going to play. True. By Thursday. I'm not sure Walker is going to play. And if he does, there's, again, a really good chance of risk of re-injury in game. What quarterback do you like in this game? Goff. Yeah. For I sure. Mike White is ranked higher than Goff by our guys. Let me check. Oh, well, I think Detroit defense has been playing so well lately. That's part of it. Not their pass defense. Pass defense still sticks. Yeah, Mike but... White's ahead of Goff for all three of our analysts. I think the concern with Goff is he's outdoors. He hasn't been nearly as good True. on the road. Jets defense is ridiculous. You know what? I take it back. I'm going Mike White. I yeah. completely take it back. I don't. I. I don't think that was a good call. It's. It's got to be White. Should we pivot away from the Cowboys DSC? Yes. Yep. Dan Schneier loves Trevor Lawrence and the and the Jaguars right now. Loves. I them. do. Judy or Devontae? Um, wow. <sighs> I'm going to go to de Devante. Yeah, I'll go to Devante. Well, if God if are playing, if God plays, I'll go Judy. What about if Rippian's playing? Rippin, Rippin. Rippin. <laughs> I expect it's going to be Rippin. I always call him Rippian. Why do I call him Rippian? Because that's how it's spelled. But but it's such a bad pronunciation. His dad played in the NFL. I should really know it's it. His uncle. I thought it was his dad. It's his uncle. <laughs> Won a Super Bowl. Well, yeah, like... You should, you know, you weren't quite old enough. Well, how old were you in 1991? Um, one years old. Really? Okay, yeah. I can't fault you for that. Yeah, a one year old. I wasn't watching the Super Bowl, believe it or not. However, I I was born. Actually, in you know what? I probably was in the room where I was definitely probably watching the Super Bowl. I was born in '84, and I know I know the name of the quarterback who won the '85 Super Bowl. So well, that's good for you. <laughs> You <laughs> the 85 Super Bowl, yeah. Come on, you should know this. It was the year before the Giants. Um, well, it was the 85 was? season, 86 Super Bowl, but yeah. oh, well, then it's Haas Stadler, or no, 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 no. The 80, the 1985 Super Bowl champion. Oh, um, famous team, famous team, the Bears, 
The Bears. McMahon. Yeah, who was their quarterback? Jim McMahon. Is it, uh, Jim, wait, oh, I was going to get there. Jim McMahon. <laughs> yeah, okay. He follows me on Twitter. Does he? Big fan. Uh, Bam or Gibson at RB2? Oh, return yards. I don't know anything about return yards. Oh, that's I'm going to have to look that up here with Antonio Gibson. I think I would go Gibson. Oh, you can't? Like, you got to stop yawning. That's three yawns. That I don't was... know what to tell you. It's natural. I can't help myself. <laughs> Very tired today. Yeah, it's it's that time of year, people. We are worn out. <laughs> We're special teams. I uh, is Gibson really racking up yards in the punt game? I have what no. Do you, what do you even get in these leagues? You got like one for every twenty, I think, probably. Can't be. Oh, there we go. Kick and punt. Okay. Oh, oh, nice. All right. So Gibson. Oh yeah. Oh, you got to start Gibson. Are you kidding yeah. me? Look at these yards in punt re- in kick returns. He's not returning punts. Uh, 27, 78, 41, 68, Whoa. 14, 48, 51, 27. Yeah, I'll start him. Yeah. One point for return yards. I hate it. Burks or Waddle? Waddle. Waddle. What happened? Why, is it, why are you asking this? What do I do? <laughs> I'm all right. Is that yawn? Is that yawning? Maybe. I could listen to, to just you two on a nightly basis. You always have me laugh. Oh, thank you, Dan. Appreciate thank you, Dan. it. That, this you know isn't what? even I our love, best material. I feel I like this isn't even name. our best material tonight. Because I am also a Dan fader, if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> he loves to fade me, but guess what? I've done better than him in all our leagues except for one. What are you talking about? You did better than me than two in two out of three leagues. Right. All our leagues except for one, as I said. All our leagues except for one is a little deceiving. Two out of three. <laughs> I said no lie. Uh, Watson, Waddle, Judy, and then two running backs, non-PPR. Um, Watson, Waddle, Judy. And then a flex. Watson. Uh, I'm going to start, I think, all three wide receivers if no. Sutton is out. He can only go one wide receiver, one flex. Oh, one wide receiver. I'm sorry. Yeah. So I'm going to go right. Watson in my receiver role. Okay. Judy in my flex. And Foreman and ETN. Carolina gets Detroit. No, I'm looking at the wrong week. I'm looking at the stupid week 16. Carolina gets Pittsburgh. They've been pretty bad against the run the last three weeks. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. Non PPR. Um,. All right, we need to pick three in standard scoring. St. Brown, Dobbins, Olave, Connor. Oh, damn. <laughs> wow. My goodness. Ends this one with a banger. I'm going to go with, oh, wow, this is tough. Yeah. I need to think about this some, a little bit. These are all good options. All right, it's not going to be Olave. Yeah, rule him out. It's going to be Aaron Jones. <sighs> is it? Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to go Amon. I like Connor a lot. Me too. I like That's mixing crazy. a lot. I don't. I don't bench him on Ross St. Brown. It's not something I do. So I'm not gonna. And I like Dobbins a lot. So yikes, Amon Ra because I don't bench him. I'm going Amon Ra Connor Jones. I'll go Amon Ra Connor. Nixon's got the Bucks. Keep that in mind. I know. Who does Dobbins have? Dobbins has the best matchup. He has the Browns. I'll go Amon Amon Ra Connor Dobbins. Uh, I liked what I saw from Dobbins on film, so I'm I'm on that. I know he doesn't have the slow, burst. But... Slow, slow J.K. Dobbins. I saw that one clip that went viral where people were like, oh, look how bad, look how slow he is. I'll use that to my advantage and be drafting him everywhere next year. That's fine. It's, I'm not talking about drafting. You know I'm going to have trouble not drafting next year, and I'm already disgusted with myself for it, Adam? Who? Kyle freaking Pitts. <laughs> I yeah. already know it's going to not work out again. Yeah, it's I've not. I've destroyed myself for two straight years drafting him ridiculously high. Yeah, Arthur Smith is fantasy poison. But hopefully they get a quarterback upgrade. Uh, ETN, Pacheco, or Swift? Pacheco, for show. For Sheco. Pacheco, for Sheco. Okay. Uh, wake up. Of me. Wake up. I'm trying to, Cousin Ernest. It's tough. It's 840 here on the East Coast, the best coast by far. Um but by the way, Adam, isn't it clear the Eastern time zone is obviously the best of all the time zones? Well, not for sports. Not for sports, but for everything else. Yeah, I 100% agree. I mean, we get to celebrate all of the holidays earlier. Right. You know, 
And it's just like it's just bad. Like it's just better to be an East Coast person. I don't know how to explain it. Nah, just kidding. That was me joking. Wow. Wait, that was me just going into the food snob. I'm like, so snob, Dan Schneier. Oh, favorite Blink 182 song, non radio hit. That's a great question. I'll let you tackle this one first, Adam. I don't really know that many of their non radio hits, but I think every time I look for you, the sun goes down. You know that one? No, I was going to say, I unfortunately don't know too many of their non radio hits. <laughs> every time I look for you, I think is what it's called. Uh, I think it's on one of the American Pie soundtracks. It's, yeah, check it out. Song. Oh, yeah, it's a great song. Uh, all right. From J. Newton Air Amari Cooper, Juju, or a Tampa running back? PPR. So it's full PPR. I'm going to go Juju. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'm going to go Juju. I hate the matchup. I know, but I like Juju, and I like what I saw last week from him. Okay. I could go Cooper. I could be talking to Cooper, too. Kirk, Elijah Moore, or Chris Moore? Kirk. Captain Kirk. Yeah. Has that been one of your nicknames ever? Something with, like, Captain Kirk? <sighs> I don't do Star Wars. Star Trek. That's not Star I, Wars. I don't do Star Trek. Wow. I, misspoke. I misspoke. I corrected it instantly. instantly. Why don't you do Star Trek or Star? Do you know? Do you know do Star Wars either? I wasn't a. I'm not a sci-fi guy. Uh, I oh. watched Star Wars all of them within the last few years. For, I would have know. never put you on not being a sci-fi guy. Really? Yeah, not my thing. Okay. Um, so how do you watch Game of Thrones? I guess that's fantasy. It's not, it's not really. Fantasy. Yeah, it's not really sci-fi. Um, but I actually really, I, I, I really like star Wars and my, I guess, controversial star Wars take is I actually like a new hope better than empire. Ugh. yeah, it's a better movie. Why do you have all these like wild takes? Like, <laughs> she's just like, Oh, Ragnarok was the worst of the Thor movies. What? That doesn't need to be said. It's such a bad take. It's like, where does it's it come just from? Too goofy. It's, it's, it's like a comedy. It's like watching. Yeah, that's great. Oh, that's the whole point. It's a great comedy. It's funny. But it's too much. Too much. You got Goldblum in it. The Hulk <laughs> is hilarious in it. Come on. Uh, you guys are bugging on Waddle. It's going to be Tua in a snowy wonderland. I, yeah, yeah, look, we don't love Waddle. It's not like we're loving him. We're just taking him over some like back end options. Um, I, and by the way, I've only seen the three original Star Wars. I haven't seen any. Okay. Of the other, so. Those are by far and away the best as far as the movies go. The shows have completely outdone the movies, though. Andor. It's the most recent show is one of the best things on TV from oh, last wow. year. Jamie said one of them was the like the best one. Andor, I think he probably no said. a movie Mandalorian. Oh, the movie. Yeah. Uh, well, if he didn't say any of the original trilogy, then he's just off and wrong. Well, he, you know, he said one of them. I think was one. Well, he, I, I don't know if he meant it was better than that, but he told me to watch one of them, and I asked like where it was chronologically, and I think he said it was in between three and four or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, if he's talking about, or uh, I'm trying to think which one he's talking about. I think if he's talking about in between three and four, then he's talking about the best one, which I don't want to give it away, but it's the one with Andor in it. Um, I forgot what's the what name it's of called. the movie. Oh. I'm now trying to forget the name of the movie. I know the plot of the movie. I, it's uh, what? I don't know. I mean, just just look, look, go to IMDb. Etn or Rashad White in PPR. I don't want to spoil it anyway. Um, Rashad White. Yeah, I think I would go with Rashad White. Nice Man, logo there, Jalen Applewhite. Very nice logo. <laughs> Devin Singletary, Rashad White, or Travis Homer? White. Yeah. White. You know what I want to become, Adam? One of those people who pronounce the word white. 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 So start to use the wh for the W. Sound. I don't know that there's a K in it. It's a white. No, no. The way they do it, they really emphasize it. They do a white. I don't know why I haven't been saying it's white every time. Uh, it's answer. white. That dodgeball. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Damian Harris, Pierre Strong. Oh, we did this. Oh, no, we didn't do this. It's similar. We didn't do this one. I'll go strong. strong. Yeah, I'm going to go with the uh, with the Patriots running back. Mm -hmm. Just hope Stevenson doesn't play for your sake. Um, I, ha <laughs> I caught it. I caught it. I have Rashad White, Alexander Madison, who is K-9. K9 is and Walker. I have no idea. No, it's somebody else who got the nickname K9. I don't remember now. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you because I don't know who that is. But drop any of them for Brian Robinson or Chuba. Oh, that's no. interesting. No, I wouldn't. Well, it depends. Well, first of all, it depends who K9 is. 
And also it depends on uh, how much you need a starter. Oh, Ken K9 is Ken Walker. Like I told you it was Ken Walker. Who did you look that up? No, these people are telling me in the chat. They're all saying it's Ken Walker. Okay. Definitely don't drop Walker, Barkley or white. Yeah. If you need a guy to start, I would drop Madison for probably Brian Robinson. Yep. Me too. Uh, But I, but if you don't, then I probably keep Madison just in case. Fields or Burrow? Go Burrow. Fields has more upside. Mm. Does he have more upside? Oh, yeah. He has more upside every week than Burrow um, with his rushing ability. But I'll go Burrow. I really, I just, I want to shove that comment in your face. Why? Because Joe Burrow, let's see. <laughs> Don't talk to me about stats from Fields like before they change the offense. Joe Burrow has three games in his last seven with 34 or more points. And how about Fields once they changed the offense and started to use him as a runner? Okay, I'll look at his last seven games. Just look at six. I think it's the last six. One, two. He has two games with more than 34 points, but two games with 43 or more. Right. Yeah, against Miami and Detroit. Now he's got the Eagles. The matchup's not great, so I would go Burrow, but... I think Fields still has the upside with the rushing upside. Um, right, rest of season, Damian Dobbins, yeah. for sure. I like Dobbins. I like what I saw. Okay, you don't have to yell at me. Kirk or <laughs> you, PBR. It's the only way to keep me up. <laughs> to like wake myself up right now. I don't know why I'm this tired. I've never been this tired on one of these shows ever. I don't know what this is. This is not ideal. Um, have you ever gone to bed at like 9 p.m.? I'm debating it tonight, but. Let's do for now. Oh, yeah. You get one of those reset nights. They're, so they're good. amazing. I love the I reset night. Um, let's do Ayuk in a close one. Okay. I think I think on last Friday night, I think I slept from 1030 to 930. It was. Oh, man, that's epic. That is good. Uninterrupted? No, no. But okay. fairly uninterrupted. Your kids don't wake you up before 930? <laughs> they sleep later than that. Dude. That's amazing. But they that's also go to sleep. Too. Yeah, they go to sleep really late. Wait, why do they go to sleep late? Because we're failures. I'm a failure. <laughs> You're not a failure, but it it's is that, wild. It's, it's, my wife and I are night owls. Like, Yeah, me too. So then you just like let them become them, night owls? I don't know what's wrong with them. They're freaks, dude. Bedtime yeah. takes forever. I, I okay. just don't understand it. Um, Like right now, she's trying to get them to bed, and they're not going to go to sleep till 1030, I bet. What happens? What do they do? They read books. They fart around. I don't know. They just be <laughs> kids. They just won't go to sleep. They're just crazy. Um, I have Dalvin Cook. Would you drop James? Yes, I would drop James Cook for Madison. Um, yep, definitely. You, you, uh, it's a great move because if Cook gets hurt, you have the you have an RB one for the rest of your playoffs. Okay, Foreman or Brob? Foreman for sure. Why for sure? You don't like what you've seen from from Foreman recently? I like I kind of like what I've seen from from uh, B Rob. I mean, I would start Foreman too, but matchup is better for Gibson anyway than B Rob against the Giants because Giants are good interior run defense, horrible on the outside. I mean, I've heard you say that before, and I agree, but no, I don't agree. I don't think they're good at any type of run defense. <laughs> and you can't run in the back. middle against them. The Twenty-one team's just carries can't... for ninety-six yards against the Giants two weeks. I know, ago. and I don't know that Leonard Williams is going to play. Yep, um, fine. He can, I, I mean, mean Brian Robinson can run outside too. They can run Robinson counter is, with him. Robinson is, I think, really taken the job from Gibson. He has 18 or more carries in three of his last four okay. games. Gibson has fair. nine carries in two straight games. Um, now he was a little banged up recently, but okay. Anyway, start Foreman. Start Foreman. I, I yeah. don't. I do like Robinson this week to a degree, but start Foreman over him. Um, but Ben and Drill, I don't think we're gonna go that route. Thank you, though. Have you ever seen the curve episode where he puts the Ben and Drill brownie? No, oh, it's so good. I don't want to ruin it for you. Just but look I, up Ben and Drill brownie, curb your enthusiasm. I did, I had never seen the clip that you posted of, of uh, which one? Smile. Oh, smile's so good. He just because you know, those people you're walking down the street, they're like, Hey, smile, hey, mind your own business. What how about that? <laughs> so good. It reminded me of the selfie stick. Yeah, he just crushes it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, rank these running backs. ETN, Brian Robinson, Montgomery, and Dobbins. Dobbins, Robinson, ETN, Montgomery. You sold me on Robinson, Adam. 
Montgomery would – oh, boy, he's, he is going to be one of the toughest calls for me this I week. I don't want him in my lineups. Jordan Davis back for the yeah. Eagles. Suffocating run. so run good defense. in the run last week. Yeah, I think he's going to have a bad game. Uh, the only thing that would save him are some catches, and those are very unpredictable for him. So, But Justin Fields. I yeah. like your order. Dobbins, Robinson, ETN, Montgomery. Um, all right, by the way, let me ask you a question. Yep. In my mind, I had made the playoffs in five of my nine leagues. In your mind. It turns out that one of my leagues, I was in sixth place, so I was counting that. For some reason, only four teams make the playoffs. Can okay. I count that as a playoff? Is it a 10-team league? No, it's a 12-team league. And only four teams make the playoffs? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Who runs this league, Jamie? No, it's a it's a not a, not a CBS league. And you never knew it was a four-team playoff until this year? Or is it first I year? I forgot. I guess I just forgot. Oh. Um, can you count that as making the playoffs? No, you can't because technically <laughs> to make the playoffs, you have to be in the playoffs. You have to have a matchup this week. You set your lineup, you make your waiver claims, you track it during the games. You don't do any of that. Then you're not in the playoffs. Well, I did make waiver claims that I, and I thought I was in the playoffs that I looked at the matchups like, Hey, commission, <laughs> like, how come uh, there are only four teams in the playoffs? Oh, that you, we had a meme that said like, it's always been that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm thinking about claiming the Browns tonight. I have the Dolphins right now. The Browns have the Ravens. No, don't do it, man. Dolphins. The Browns defense is not worth starting in fantasy, no matter the matchup. I think I'd rather start the Packers against the Rams. Yeah, I don't know if I'd start the Dolphins either, but the Packers no, is, no, is a good play. Definitely. There are other good matchups. Yeah, I think you can do better than that. Uh, the Packers are widely available. The Saints could be okay uh, against the Falcons. What the hell is Paulson Adebo? Is their other cornerback? Oh yeah, Adebo. That was a Stanford player. Adebo Samuel, team name. No, that's Next not two. a good one. Judy Hill, Waddle Ayuk. <laughs> <laughs> Judy or Hill, obviously, yeah. and then Judy. I think there's a little bit of safety in Brandon Ayuk. Um. But That's, no, let's not go with him. Let's go with Judy, and then if Sutton plays, you pivot to Waddle. Okay. That's what I do. How many times do people tell you that you look like Ronnie from Jersey Shore? What? Me? Let me see. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, oh, I've never been told that before. I've been told I look like a lot of people. I've been told I look like Andy Samberg. I've been told I look like Josh Allen, the Bills quarterback. People say I look really? like Josh Allen, which is an interesting one. That's the one I think is the closest to any of them. If I had a straighter nose and it wasn't broken when I was a kid and never fixed, I think I would look like him. Um, I've been told I look like Adam Sandler, but I think that's more just people who aren't like accustomed to seeing Jewish people. And then they see one. They don't have many Jews in their lives. They're like, oh, yeah, you look like Adam Sandler. <laughs> like every Jew looks like Adam Sandler. But Ronnie from the Jersey Shore, that one's new to me. Look at Ronnie right there. Do I look anything like Ronnie from the Jersey Shore? This is incredible. Dan Fader. I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm like very uh, like uh, taken back by this. Let's blow up one of those pictures of Ronnie right there. First of all, I'm not nearly as Jack. We already know that. Yeah. That, Second that of all, know. I did not cheat on Sammy in the club and you did not write a letter about me cheating on Sammy in the club. Do you know that Adam? Do you know that reference? Uh, no, I've never all seen right. it. So I've seen the first season. It's a guilty pleasure. I've seen the first season of, of Jersey shore. Um, but wow. I never got Ronnie from Jersey shore. That's a, that's an interesting, I'm trying one. to, I'm trying to get a bigger, um, I'm very like almost confused by this. Let's see. <laughs> Ronnie from the uh, here you go. I probably can't air that, so I'm going to take it down. But no, <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it. Um. So why didn't you? Why didn't you get your nose fixed when it was broken? Yeah. Um. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the reason for it was. Well, why don't you do it like now? I could. I could do it now. You don't have to. It's you, bro. Bro, it's your nose. Like You look good, man. Just... Yeah, I'm not worried about it too much from that standpoint, but it does change how I look. Put up a Josh Allen picture. See if you can get what I'm talking about here. Yeah, see? Jacob knows it. People have told me this. I've got a lot. More than anyone else, it's been Josh Allen lately. It was Andy right. Sandberg for a while, and it was Josh Allen. Uh, okay. See if you can get a Josh Allen. Yeah, I got it. it. All right, let's take a look. Does he look like Josh Allen? Allen. And it was like incredible compliment when the first person told me. I was like, oh, yes, Josh Allen. I do not see it at all. Maybe I'll see it at all with Josh Allen. Not at all. Let's see if this picture you put up. <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see. I can see. Like, 
nice. All nice. right. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see. We got Jerry <laughs> Judy. Or- <laughs> so good. <laughs> Jerry Judy or Hollywood Brown. Oh man, that was like my favorite moment in FFT history right there. <laughs> like <laughs> cautiously laughing because I don't want to like implicate myself in any way. Uh, let's go. It was funny. It was it was it was a uh, harmless humor, and I liked it. But I definitely don't look like that, Josh Allen. Um, Jerry Judy, <laughs> Jerry Judy over Hollywood Brown. Yes. Uh, let's. What do we got here? I have Dobbins and Gibson. How do you feel about their matchups? I love. We love Dobbins. We love Dobbins. I'm not really Gibson, feeling we don't it like. Gibson. Yeah. yeah. Dobbins, yes. Gibson, no. I uh, lost Kyler Gino is on a short week. Uh, I, I would I'm ner- I am nervous about Gino Smith, but I very would nervous him. about Gino. What I've seen from him lately. Oh yeah, well, did you end up watching your Gino film? Um, I did, and it hasn't been. There's been. It's not just been this week. Gino's been trending down for a little while now. I can't really figure out what the reason is for it though. They don't have many O line injuries. It it wasn't just this game when they lost Ken Walker in the run game. So I don't know what's going on there, but I think I would actually go Mike White over him. I would not do that. Yeah. I mean, Gino is throwing a ton of touchdowns. He's got 49ers, right? He's got the Niners. It's the only yeah, team he's been would, absolutely horrible against. I would definitely go Mike White. And over a lot Gino. of things have been horrible against him, against the Niners, but best defense in football. Very possible. Um, they're gonna shut down the run so severely. You might get a season high in pass attempts this week from Gino. Um, I definitely get an interception or two. Definitely. Uh, yeah, he's been throwing a lot of those. Four in his last four games. Four in his last three games. Four in his first ten games. Four in his last three games. So Gino makes me a little nervous, but like, come on, I can't. I can't start Mike White over him. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Nah. Um, I will though. Yeah, you're wrong. Pick two running. Let's do a food bet. Okay. Gino versus Mike White, six point per passing touchdown. Okay. Um, what uh, what do I, you know, you have to eat, you have to eat golden grams on the okay. air. You have to eat golden grams. Okay. If I win. And uh, what and do taste I taste test them? What do you have to eat? What, what yeah, have we talked about? That... What? Yeah, you tell me. Oh, how about a uh, mound bar? That's the one with coconut, right? I'm not giving you something bad. I'm giving you something delicious. <laughs> Golden I grams are dry, up. not delicious whatsoever. Like, are you telling me we we'll have to eat just golden grams? And so that means probably not with milk. You just want me no, to just put milk in it. it, have cereal. Yeah. Okay. 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 I want your, I want a golden grams with you. When was the All last right. time you had golden grams? Since I was a kid, maybe. Right. So you need it. You need a refresher. Wasn't even I like know. my cereal of choice, by the way. But um, let's see. What should you eat? Oh, I got to think about that. I'll come up with it before the next show. All right. Let's answer this question here. Two running backs, two receivers and a flex. Okay, Eckler and Taylor. Yes, lock them in. Um, lock them. Mike Williams. Devonta, Devonta, Chase, or no, Watson, no. Williams, don't Chase. Don't put Jamar Chase last. I don't know why he did that. I'm going Chase, Watson, Williams. I will go Devonte Smith over Watson if. Oh, no, yo. All right. Eckler how about Devonte Smith versus Watson? Food bet. No, I already said it's Goff and uh, it's, uh, it's okay. White and cut and who? Okay. Gina and, and Gina. I'm, I'm good with that, that too. Gino's not scoring against. I gotta keep my figure here, bro. <laughs> like I, I, what I was saying, he's going Watson. I'll go Devonte over Watson if Goddard is out, and I'll go Watson over Devonte if Goddard plays. Okay. Raid the trade two weeks ago. I traded Garrett Wilson and Watson for Waddle. Don't look yeah. good. I mean, it's not looking great because of Waddle's injury, and Wilson's just continued awesomeness. So, yeah, I don't love it. I don't like Watson in this, but I think Wilson might be better than Waddle rest of season. Um, Don't Dan, make Adam do the one chip challenge. What is that? Bet you can't eat just one? I don't know what that is. What is the one chip challenge, Victor? Let me know. I'll make him do it. I'll I had see. one chip earlier today, by the way. No, you. who does that? I was giving one chip to my kids, and then I had one myself, and I put it away. You gave them one total chip. Yeah. Okay. I got caught trying to eat <laughs> chips and they were like, hey, I have a chip. It was right before oh, dinner. Uh, I gave him a chip and, uh, <laughs> and then I took just one for myself. Uh, I would I start off with Kamara. I, he's going to say Dobbins. I would start Kamara. Yeah. I will say Dobbins for sure. 
Oh, the one chip challenge. It's a really spicy oh. chip. Hell no. We are. I would love to see Adam eat a spicy chip on air. We should make that the bet that we have to do something funny on air. So how about have you ever done this sin- at all? That is like, I will die. I will be in that's the-, the funny part. Your reaction to you eat it, to putting the eat trying to eat that. How about the cinnamon challenge? Have you ever done the cinnamon challenge? No. What is that? Spoonful of cinnamon. Have you done it? No, but I've seen my friend do it. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it was hilarious. He tried it. He was so confident he could do it. He's like, hey, dude, this is so easy. This is so stupid. Why is this even a challenge? He tried to do it immediately. It's <laughs> up <laughs> everywhere. He's coughing and spitting for the next five minutes. It's incredible. <laughs> Shout out Nathan weird. Egan. If you're if you're listening, I'm going to text you about this tomorrow. Uh, Nathan Egan did this one, and it was just epic. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Saltines? How about like the saltine challenge? I don't know that one. That one's harmless, but you think you can eat a lot of saltines in a minute? Yeah, but it's you like can't. the gallon of milk one. Like, oh, it seems so easy. I could well, eat. No, the gallon, gallon of milk is disgusting. But saltines. <laughs> you can't, you can't I love. It. Are you on the train of milk being disgusting? Because well, I, I like milk, but a gallon of it. Milk like, is milk is a disgusting. We weren't okay, meant to drink hey, cow's milk. Don't do the cinnamon thing. Two oh. people here are saying you can die. Wow. All so right. Well, don't do it. Glad Nathan he can survive. <laughs> <laughs> golfer fields fields uh fields yeah shave your head finally dan could have better hair than me if that happens <laughs> yeah right who would you prioritize on waivers deontay pitman dobbins cook oh pitman oh dobbins dobbins, dobbins. dobbins for sure burks or elijah moore what was that last thing the reaction of the sprite what what you missed, you missed a funny one that just we went too quick oh oh interesting I never knew that. Sprite yeah. with potassium and banana. Sprite and banana. I've never heard of that. Yeah, me either. <laughs> <laughs> the saltines dry up your saliva and you can't swallow it. It's true. It's like, oh, blah, it's terrible. <laughs> um, Pittman or Zay Jones? I, I like Pittman a lot this week against the Vikings. I'm good with that too. Um, Hubbard or McKinnon rest of season? McKinnon. Okay. Washington against the Giants or the Bucks. I'm I'm going week by week here, but yeah. Commanders are the ones that stand out. I don't think the Gi- Giants aren't really a great matchup though for anyone, they're, right? They don't really turn the ball up. over. Are do they? They don't turn the ball over. They take sacks. They don't score. They take sacks. They don't. They don't score. turn the ball over that much, but they did at least once against the Commanders. They had the fumble. Right. The commanders are just really good. I mean, they're really good DST. Okay. Bucks really aren't. They got the Bengals this week. I mean, you got to advance to the next round before you start sure. worrying about next week. That's All true. right, last question here. One more question. JK. Oh, no, we did that. Um, is Driscoll a thing? So they are going to use him. Right. But no, he's not really a thing. No. Pick three. Kamara, Dobbins, Stevenson, Rashad White, Brian Robinson. We're gonna record. Dobbins, McLaurin to start. Rip those off. Put them in your lineup. And then I will go with Rashad White. I will Actually, you convinced me on Brian Robinson. Brian Robinson. Kamara, Kamara. No, no, I don't play Kamara. All right, Kamara, McLaurin, Dobbins, unless Stevenson. People are going to be so disappointed with Alvin Kamara. I can't wait to see it. Kamara, McLaurin, Stevenson, if Stevenson plays. All I'm right. Back to Dalton. Gross. Yeah, they're playing the Falcons, bro. So what? All right, we got to go. We'll talk to you later. Thanks to everybody out there. Do not do the cinnamon challenge. I guess Sprite and a banana will suffice. <laughs> We'll see. That sounds very fun. Um, Have a great night, everybody. Talk to you later.